Well, in recent years, Tampa Bay earned the reputation of Champa Bay thanks to the success of the Lightning and the Bucks. But now a Pinellas County student is adding to those winning ways with his victory at this year's Scripps National Spelling Bee. Justin Shecker was at the airport for Dev Shaw's return home. He joins us live in the Tampa News Center. This is a good one. It really is, Jen and Josh. Good evening to you both. Dev Shaw says he hopes more Floridians can become Spelling Bee champions after he was the first student from the state to win the national competition in more than two decades. He credits his parents for keeping him on track to claim this title after coming up short in years past. He's a star in his own right right now. At Tampa International Airport Tuesday night. I'm very privileged to be here. It was a homecoming fit for a champion. E semifinal. That is correct. Largo's Dev Shah correctly spelled that final word that refers to an organism that thrives in sandy soils or areas to win the 2023 Scripps National Spelling Bee. When I heard the word, it it was like a feeling of relief because I was really stressed before then, but um, I studied the word before and I was confident I knew it. Friends and former teachers were beaming with pride as they embraced the 14-year-old when he arrived with his family in the main terminal. Was he a champion star by fourth grade already? Oh, absolutely. Pat Choi was Shah's fourth grade English language arts teacher at Ridgecrest Elementary School. He was the best speller in my class, and I never had to uh, correct his uh, writing and his spelling when he was writing essays for me, so that was wonderful. Shah's principal at Morgan Fitzgerald Middle School says the rising ninth grader instantly became a role model for his peers. He's showing his classmates that if you work hard and you practice, your dreams do come true. For the rest of us who still need to work on our spelling, Shah had some playful advice. Well, it's okay now because now we have spell checks, so you don't really have to become a better speller. <laughs> Yeah, thank goodness for spell check. Uh, after a whirlwind of a week that's included interviews with national news outlets, Shaw says tonight he looks forward to getting some good sleep in his own bed. And the principal says the celebration for this spelling bee champion continues Thursday with a parade at his middle school. Live in the Tampa News Center, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.